Hello and welcome to my channel. Rita Scamandros, or better known as Horn, is one of the main protagonists we meet during Chapter 9 Stormwatch, now that she's being added to the game as a playable operator, is she any good? Let's find out in this guide. Horn is a fortress defender and this archetype is really unique, boasting a range of up to 5 tiles ahead, and having a blind spot of 2 tiles in front of her. The archetype's trait lets Horn prioritize launching attacks that deal AoE physical damage when she isn't blocking enemies, and will switch to dealing single target physical damage if she were to block an enemy. If you couldn't already tell from the weird range and trait, Horn prefers to be deployed behind another operator, or on tiles that have low to no traffic to make use of her ranged attacks, as blocking enemies usually results in a significant drop in overall DPS, Fortress defenders are usually geared more towards damage rather than defense, and thanks to her trait and range, she can destroy enemies from a relatively safe distance. Moving on to her stats, Horn's HP and defense stats are similar to Guardian defenders, but damn is her attack stat high, she also has a high DP cost of 28 at Elite 2, which can be a little troublesome to deal with, as well as the usual 3 block as a defender, and a slow attack speed to offset her high attack, pretty decent stats for a damage-oriented operator. Next up are her talents, Horn's first talent gives all defenders an attack buff when deployed, this talent is similar to Schwartz's and Aya's, but Horn's attack increase is significantly higher than theirs, Mudrock, Eunectes, Saria and Blemishine benefits from this talent as it increases their damage or healing output, Horn herself will also enjoy the sweet 20% increase in attack, a decent talent. Horn's second talent will revive her upon death, replenishing all her health but loses 50% of her max HP. Doing the math, a level 90 pot 1 Horn with max trust will be left with about 1600 HP after revival. She also gets a defense buff and increased attack speed, while her max HP is in shambles after revival. The attack speed and defense buff is more than enough to get a few more hits in before she gets bonked out of existence by enemies. However, in most scenarios, Horn will be knocking herself out instead of enemies, more on that later, this talent can activate once every deployment, which is awesome. Now, if you think this guide is helpful, do consider subscribing to my channel, there are more guides on the way so stay tuned for more. Moving on to her skills, Horn's first skill is a power strike skill where she will deal a burst of attack as physical damage, if the attack she does is a long ranged attack, the AoE radius is greatly increased and leaves a glowing orb that temporarily reveals invisible enemies in the AoE. This skill has a low SP cost of 5 and can store 2 charges, a decent starting skill to have and is great for AFK strategies. Horn's second skill introduces a new skill effect, Overdrive. So what exactly does this effect do? Overdrive changes the skill to two separate halves, with her second half having different effects, in Horn's case. Her second skill is an ammo-based skill that grants 10 ammo upon activation. This means the first 5 ammos changes her attacks to dealing 240% of her attack at Mastery 3. That is some crazy attack scaling going on there. The overdrive effect makes her attacks deal additional AoE arts damage on top of the 240% attack increase. When deactivating the skill during overdrive state, Horn will fire the rest of her ammo at once, dealing a huge burst of AoE physical and arts damage in one shot, but she loses 60% of her max HP instantly, and yes, she can die from this skill. While the HP loss is huge, you can avoid it by letting Horn naturally fire the rest of her ammo. This skill has a SP cost of 25 at Mastery 3. Lastly, we have her third skill, Horn will get an attack buff and gets a big attack speed increase. Decreasing her attack interval to only one second, the overdrive state increases the attack buff to 140% and she gradually loses HP, capping at a 12% max HP every second after 12 seconds. Thankfully, you can manually deactivate this skill to prevent her from dying. As this skill has a duration of 24 seconds, the overdrive effect will kick in after 12 seconds. The total damage from this skill is absolutely bonkers even on one enemy, and will skyrocket against group enemies, the HP loss is really bad, draining about 75% of her HP per activation, in most scenarios, you would want Horn to make use of the full 12 seconds of overdrive, and this is where her second talent kicks in, 
when her HP reaches zero, Horn gets the attack speed buff that further boosts her damage output, as well as the defense buff to increase her survivability, thus synergizing well with this skill. It has a SP cost of 35 at mastery 3 and 24 seconds of duration. So, should you pull and build Horn? The answer is a definite yes. Horn is an extremely strong damage dealer and is one of the popular operators to use during the future CC9 event, with her third skill, her damage rivals even Shalter. The main downside with her kit is definitely the HP drain, so deploying a healer or manually deactivating her skill when not necessary is especially important to keep her alive. I'd say Horn is an attention-heavy operator as you are constantly looking at her HP and timing her skills, which might need a bit of getting used to. Another downside is the sharp decrease in DPS when Horn is blocking an enemy, so you'll have to plan out her deployment to position her at the best tile possible for maximum damage, other than that, Horn is definitely worth pulling for, with that being said, as we are closing in on a new limited banner, some players might be skipping her to go for the limited operator, all I can say to these players is stay strong my dudes, and save up those arundums. And that is all for this operator guide, I will be making similar videos in the future so do consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.